Well, hello again. Welcome again to another podcast, Down to Earth but Heavenly Minded. I'm your host, Herb Risch. Today I got the second article by Bruce Hushizer, uh, and it's entitled, The Love of the Father for the Son. And this is a beautiful article. I read through it, uh, and I realized... <laughs> I didn't have my sound on, so I'm doing it again. I do this quite often, but I get to read these articles sometimes two, three times. So with that said, let us just go to the article. Okay, we're at the article, The Love of the Father for the Son, uh, by Bruce Hush Scheiser. The love of the Father for the Son is an ultimate of love. In John 17, the Lord Jesus speaks of the Father's love for him being before the foundation of the world, in verse 24, shows that it preceded all creation's uh, origin, singular in the Godhead, and being from eternity past, no other love is like this. A love between the persons of the Godhead in eternity past. The Father opened heaven twice to tell of his love that he had for his Son. i got to jump to the article here. This is my beloved Son in whom I had found delight. Matthew uh, 3, verse 17, and in the New English Translation, it reads, And the voice from heaven said, This is my dear one, my dear son. In him I take great delight. And also in 17, 5, It is this love which the love which the Lord Jesus uses to compare other loves. He said, Thou, though my father, the Father has loved them, the disciples, as thou has loved as thou has loved me, verse twenty three. No greater statement could be made concerning the Father's love for us. The same love he had had for his beloved son, such he has had for us. Those he had chosen out of the world and gave to his son, verses 2 and 6, etc., we would never dare to think this if it were not revealed in God's word. But it is true, and in this love we have seen his act, for he has not spared his own son, but delivered him up for us all. And, in, and we read that in Ro, Romans 8.32. Indeed, he who did not spare his own son, but gave him up for us all, how will he not also, along with him, freely give us all things? Again, in emphasizing the greatness of his love, for his own, the Lord Jesus used the strongest of words, saying, As the Father has loved me, I also love you. Abide in my love. John fifteen nine. Just as the Father has loved me, I also love you. Remain in my love. The love of the Father for the Son has been extended towards us, in every way, and to its fullest extent, the Father has loved us just as he has loved his Son, and the Son has loved us just as the Father has loved him. And praise the Lord, who does all things well. There is more. The Lord Jesus says he has made known the Father's name to the disciples and will make it known that the love 
with which thou hast loved me may be in them and i in them verse 26 such a truth if it were not said in the scriptures could never be imagined by the saints that the very love of the father for the son should be in me so that i might love the son as the father loved the son and such is the son's desire what a glorious fellowship of mature love for the lovely son god is faithful by whom ye have been called into the fellowship of his son jesus christ the lord first corinthians 1 9 he has given us the same love for the son who so i'm going to start it over he has given us the same law love for the son so that we might love him as well and thus be full partakers of the gracious fellowship of love the father has loved the son the father loves us as he has loved the son the son has loved the father has loved him and the love with which the father has loved his son is given to be in us what a glorious place we have what a marvelous way uh, god has and that completes the reading and with that i'm just going to say goodbye for now and till the next time and i'm not sure where i'm gonna go from here uh i'm i'm still thinking about maybe doing uh the pentateuch by chm but that's going to be a long uh, task and it's going to take a while to get through it but i may start it and then maybe do a few small articles in between so with that said i'm just going to close my podcast see you next time bye for now